Testing the air, the couriers collecting pollution data. The digital stimulant, I test a new kind of wearable set to increase my focus. And role-playing games plus fun with lasers in our game review. Welcome to Swipe. It'll probably come as no surprise to you that a city like London has a problem with air pollution. But unless we know the scale of the issue, we can't solve it. And that's where technology comes into things. Sometimes a good tech idea needs a bit of people power. Or in this case, a bit of pedal power. Here's Stu. As Mario the Courier cycles around London, he isn't just making his deliveries, he's also working as a human air pollution monitor. I've joined him to see how a cycle courier experiences air pollution and how he's helping to fight it. Does it make you worried? Uh, it's, it, we've been worried for a long time. Okay, You go home, you're not feeling well, you're a bit dizzy, a bit lightheaded. If we could collect enough data to show definite, definitive proof to the people in charge that say this is the pollution we encounter and here's the proof to something about it. Mario and his colleagues each cover about 70 miles a day. 50 of them are carrying a tag like this which is measuring carbon monoxide in the air. The devices use wasted wireless signals for power meaning they don't need to be charged. It's small and light and sitting in my backpack I could just use it just small and light and convenient, I suppose, yeah. Do you just not even think about it? Uh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. For days on end, I don't know, I have it. The extensive data collected by the couriers is fed back into this app, Clean Space. This allows users to see the quality of the air that they've been breathing that day. It's a personal touch which could make people pay attention to the wider problem. And the tracker gives all that data a really specific location. So instead of monitoring the air from a building or lamppost, you know more about what's happening to a person at ground level. It's the first time that we're putting together both position and air pollution. Um, and I think that's going to give a, a very interesting result. Plus these sensors are pretty small, so they're going to be carrying, uh, collecting the data at person height as opposed to you know, a sensor on a building or something that's a bit, much, a bit further away from all those nasty exhaust uh, fumes. All this will give us an unprecedented level of data on air pollution in London, but will that solve the problem? It's great that business and technology are looking to try and highlight the issue of air pollution because it's a big problem in London. Uh, and definitely the more information that we have about the levels of air pollution in London, the better. Uh, it will help uh, to tackle hot spots that we might not be aware of. But certainly we do know enough that um, legal limits are being broken throughout London. This trial is happening just in London for now, but the tech companies behind it say they want the idea to be used around the world. Stuart Duggan, Sky News.